Hello folks, Vance coming to you here from the 2011 Bassmaster Classic in New Orleans. Fish have been eating well out there. The guys have been catching them on a variety of lures. We've got a lot of pre-spawn fish, a lot of good shallow grass bass, a little stain to the water, power fishing. Anytime you got that going on, you know there's a frog bite somewhere in play, especially this time of year. Now, if I was going to throw a frog out there, I'd go with that balling color right there with that yellow belly. Natural looking back. Especially the stained water we got here. If you're on a good shad bite, a little more open water deal, hard to beat that one right there. And uh, regardless, you know, snag proofs in their 50th year. They've been doing this a while. These are all made in the USA. And they're still the innovators and leaders in the frog business. You see right there, the inner tube technology allows them to put that hook up in that harness without ever penetrating the body cavity of that frog. So you've got a Something's going to float like a bobber. It's not going to sink. It's going to stay up. And this is fat frogs walk like a zero spook. They walk beautifully, especially if you put a big old split ring on the nose and pop them. They will walk, and uh, you trim the skirts up a little bit more. You give even wider walking action with them. Again, that's always good whenever there's a bait fish bite going on. If I was going to go into open water situation with a shad color, I'd trim the legs a little bit and put a split ring on it. If I'm going after them up in that grass for those bass that may be bedding, I'd go 65 pound, maybe even 80 pound braided line, big old heavy flipping stick, and a good standout color, big old yellow belly, I don't like balling.